Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. Hey, hey, I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme Video. This is for Wednesday, the 9th of March. Boy, what a rain event this morning. Uh, severe weather down in South Alabama. Things are much calmer, though, this afternoon. Let's go to some of the sky cam shots out the network, uh, out the network, out the window this afternoon. First off, coming from Cullman. Don't you know that pond is full? I say pond. That's Lake Katoma. We're uh, up in Cullman County. Some folks had over four inches of rain over the past 24 hours. We'll go to the Guin Sky Cam up in northwest Alabama. Kind of some ominous looking clouds there in southern Marion County. And down in Lee County at Auburn, rain still falling. And off in the distance, you can see Jordan Hare Stadium. Big trough sweeping through the east with inclement weather over a large chunk of the eastern United States. And down below that, there's the surface cold front coming through central Mississippi. It's blown by Memphis, and uh, that will be passing through here tonight. And we'll probably see a little band of showers and maybe some thunder with that, but uh, nothing like the big rains we had last night and this morning. Temperatures have not moved much at all for the past 12 hours. Everybody's sitting in the uh, 55 to 61 degree range. Uh, actually, 65 up at the Shoals. They're the warm spot up there in northwest Alabama. Uh, Birmingham at 61. The cool spot, Gadsden at 55. And around the nation, it's cold behind that uh, uh, cold front, but not excessively cold. But the deal is this cold core upper trough is going to set up. We'll see dynamic cooling, cold air from above. And tomorrow is going to be a much, much colder day. Okay, on the front, you can see that little band of showers over northeast Mississippi and southern Tennessee. And that will be filling in and moving through here this evening. Uh, the big rain mass took most of the moisture with it, uh, but there could be enough instability for a little bit of thunder in spots, but we certainly don't expect any severe weather, and the rain won't be that heavy. Just keep in mind, you might see one more shower or storm this evening before the rain's out of here for good. Goodness, look at that. It's the circular flash flood pattern. Never seen a, a look quite like that. Almost a perfect concentric circle there around the radar at uh, Birmingham, but uh, that's suggesting uh, some spots down around Demopolis going over six inches of rain. The uh, purple, a few spots in Pickens County, and a few spots up in Marshall County with that six-inch signature. Uh, the lightest amounts down around Lake Martin in Alexander City and Dadeville, but even there they had uh, over two inches. It was a thorough soaking for every square inch of the state. Here's a look at the storm reports uh, today and, of course, the, the significant reports of those tornadoes down in South Alabama. Big tornado damage near Theodore and uh, Mobile County, near Robertsdale and Silver Hill and Baldwin County. Uh, and the, the wind damage you see up in central Alabama, that's at Uniontown. Pretty good little uh, storm blowing through there about 6 o'clock this morning. Uh, US 80 was totally blocked, a lot of trees down, lines down, buildings and businesses damaged. And the Weather Service will send an assessment team to look at that. More than likely, it's straight-line winds, but uh, most folks that looked at it on the scene said it looked like a tornado had blown through there. But again, we'll get the uh, storm assessment back tomorrow. There's the ongoing tornado watch until uh, 5 o'clock Eastern, 4 o'clock Central. For places like Panama City, Apalachicola, Tallahassee, up into uh, Georgia around Albany and Bainbridge. And that has been a wicked line of storms coming through uh, the Gulf Coast region, producing a number of reports of tornadoes uh, and damaging winds. And there's the risk area for the rest of this afternoon and tonight, a slight risk, the standard risk for parts of South Georgia and the Florida Panhandle. For us, the severe weather threat, and not that we ever had one here, but down in South Alabama, that severe weather threat is over. And the QPF chart, expected uh, precipitation for the next five days. All of this was this morning. Uh, this is valid through Monday morning of next week. And after uh, this uh, last batch of showers this evening, we'll be dry through Sunday. All right, let's go to the GFS, the 12Z run. Goodness gracious, that is a cold look for tomorrow. Very deep upper trough passing through here. And look at that moisture wrapping down in here. Uh-huh. A few little uh, snowflakes. In March, it's happened before, it's going to happen again. Uh, up in the Tennessee Valley, they'll struggle to get out of the upper 30s, and around here, we don't expect to be out of the 40s. The NAM is showing a high of 56, and uh, to us, that is somewhat laughable. It's pretty much the same mistake the model had uh, this past Sunday. But cloudy, cold. Look at the uh, RPM. Look at the snow flurries up there in the Tennessee Valley. It's 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. 
So if you're in Huntsville or Decatur or Athens, you might just see a snowflake or two in the morning. All right, Friday, we'll be close to freezing to start the day. Um, The uh, GFS is showing right at 32. If the sky clears, now let me tell you, you know those clouds can hang in longer than you think, but we do think the sky will clear. and We'll forecast a light freeze. We'll warm up nicely Friday afternoon, the high going in the mid to upper 50s. Saturday starting off the weekend, beautiful day. Upper 60s to near 70, and the same thing on Sunday. Gorgeous weekend. Get out there and enjoy. All right, spring break fans, let's take a look at next week. Not everybody's off next week, but uh, some are. Pretty good-looking trough on the GFS. This is noon Monday coming through, and uh, down below that, rain breaks out over Mississippi, West Tennessee, West Kentucky, and uh, northwest Alabama. Monday night at midnight, that rain is moving through. And by Tuesday, it's mostly gone. The GFS tries to keep some lingering moisture in here. I I doubt that that would be any serious rain there. But uh, early in the week, a chance of showers. No severe weather, no flooding this time, if this is right. Wednesday, again, the model shows a little residual moisture, but uh, we're going to leave it dry. We'll call it partly sunny and should be pretty mild. Uh, We should be up there in the low 70s. Thursday of next week, moisture comes back. And again, that's just a chance of showers. And on Friday, the rain begins to move out. So uh, next week, no excessively cold air, a chance of showers on Monday to start the week, and a chance of showers to end the uh, work week, either uh, Thursday or Friday or maybe on both days. Check the end of the forecast, March 25th, big bowling ball coming out of the southwest. That looks like a severe weather deal, doesn't it? And ridging here, the surface low is uh, near Trinidad, Colorado. Uh, big snows if this is right and this is voodoo you know this won't be right but uh, if by chance something like this happened snow for the rockies and uh, strong severe storms over texas and again we'll keep an eye on that but again no sign of any really excessively hard freeze type stuff in here for the next uh, uh, 10 to 15 days that's it for the weather extreme video today we'll have notes on the blog the next video here by seven o'clock tomorrow morning and if you're local to us we invite you to watch us on television this evening abc 3340 in birmingham at five six and ten thanks for watching have a great evening and god bless